very much for coming out tonight. We'll do one more song for you here. Booker and Jamie are right here. And uh, come back and see us again sometime. Next week I'll be here with uh, Greg Trooper. And uh, we'll see what happens after that. Like I said, Doc Watson. I really can't wait to see you again on Doc Watson night, Ron. Yes. So don't, don't come to harm before that. Right? Take care of your body. Get rid of that crick in your neck. So I stop smoking crack then? <laughs> stop smoking everything is my advice. <laughs> We're not kids anymore, not a girl and a boy, but we smoke cigarettes like our lungs were a toy. We're middle-aged now, get over it, my friend. But I didn't and start, what? But I didn't start smoking till like three years ago. <laughs> you didn't start smoking till you were 48. That's a weird statement, that's awfully late. <laughs> what were you doing when you were 15? I was traveling around the world and getting angry. <laughs> oh. Doesn't. <laughs> that sounds like a folk song in the making, like, uh, getting what gave you gangrene, my little one? <laughs> what gave you gangrene, my child? <laughs> Traveling around the world in a heavy metal band. I burned my leg to bloody. <laughs> Don't stop now! <laughs> And what happened when you were 20, Rob? <laughs> I became an accountant overnight. Oh, why be an accountant, my darling young son? Why be an accountant, my honey? Just cause you're good with numbers doesn't mean you need to have a long boring life. <laughs> oh, why don't you play the resonator guitar instead? <laughs> what did you do when you were 25? <laughs> I got evicted from my house cause I played the resonator. <laughs> Oh, who gave you a sensitive landlord, my darling son? Who gave you an anti-roots music landlord, my darling Oh, who'd object to the beautiful way you play that brown guitar? Find a better place to live. <laughs> Then what happened? <laughs> I moved in with a divorcee from California. A divorcee from California. Divorcee. <laughs> now we're really getting somewhere. <laughs> now we're living large, my darling young son. <laughs> Forget the music and find a woman who's pretty and has lots of cash. <laughs> and you will have a long, productive life. I guess that's the end of that. Okay. <laughs> Down the 
Mrs. Wright. A prince with a lousy job, a prince with a working wife. Something in the big frame moon.